The weather outside is frightful, but the new crop of winter anime is oh so delightful. So instead of braving the elements or turning to a human popsicle this holiday season, why not make like Cory and stay in the house and treat yourself to a heaping helping of new anime? And on today's episode of The Dan Cave, I'm gonna help you separate the wheat from the six zebras as we run down the best new anime you need to see this winter. Kokoku. What would you do if your nephew and your brother were kidnapped and you only had 30 minutes to pay the ransom? Would you call the cops? Would you make a ton of Venmo requests to everyone in your phone? Well, in Juri Yukawa's case, she grabbed a knife and decided to take on the kidnappers all by her lonesome. Until, of course, her grandfather used a mysterious family heirloom to stop time in its tracks. With everything frozen in place except for Juri and her grandpa, they were able to rescue their loved ones, but they quickly realized they weren't the only people who had this power. So basically, it's a lot like Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky's excellent comic Sex Criminals, but with a name that won't get your computer flagged by IT or local police when you look it up at work. So thanks for that one, Japan. I appreciate it. Fade Extra Last Encore. Now, who among us hasn't woken up somewhere they didn't recognize? Filled with regret, disoriented, confused, and possibly naked? That's right, not a single one of us. It happened to everyone here. And in the case of Hakuno Kishinami in Fate Extra Last Encore, he wakes up in a strange virtual world with little more than a mysterious companion who's basically just Fate's mainstay saber in a red dress. Now, to make matters worse, he has to fight a war to seize control of the Holy Grail. Now, if I had a nickel for every time that happened to me, I would live forever because I already have a holy grail and one is all you need. Now, unfortunately for Hakuno, he might not be so lucky as more than 100 other masters are gonna be doing their damnedest to turn him into a fine red mist to get that sweet cup. Beatless. When ultra-powerful AI surpasses human intelligence, a new breed of being is born, and I quote, beings that mankind has yet to fully comprehend made from materials far too advanced for human technology. End quote. Is this must watch? A 17 year old boy named Arato Endo has a chance encounter with one of these beings named Lassia, and he must ask himself some important questions. Why were they created? What do they want? Are we human or are we dancer? Now, hopefully, this sounds like it's going to be a weird little sci fi love story between a teenager and a USB major. And you know what? I'm on board. That's right. I'm super into bot stuff. Now, considering Saudi Arabia already has a terrifying robot citizen of its own, maybe this anime isn't too far off from reality. Hakata Tonkotsu Ramens. Now, while the name might make you think this is a lighthearted story about a struggling ramen shop owner's quest to make the perfect bowl of noodles, you would be wrong, like so wrong. This is about straight up murder. In the Japanese city of Fukuoka, there's a sprawling criminal underworld, fun fact, but something even more sinister lurks beneath the surface. Now, according to an urban legend, there is a killer of killers stalking the streets, an assassin who murders other hitmen and assassins. And as private detective Sanji Banba soon discovers, there's more to this than meets the eye, namely a conspiracy that can turn the criminal underworld on its head. And no, not a single bowl of ramen. Why do they call it that? I want noodles now. Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. Holy sh**, what a title. As I've learned from the comment section of previous videos, a lot of you really hate Sword Art Online. Like, really hate it. Like, it bothers you. But I refuse to believe that you're not fans of the if you die in the game, you die in real life trope. And neither does Japan because they keep making these stories. Death March is the story of 29-year-old programmer Suzuki Ichiro, who finds himself transported to a fantasy RPG where he plays a 15-year-old boy named Sato. Thanks to a mysterious but powerful in-game ability, he winds up becoming a high-leveled adventurer after murdering a whole bunch of lizard men. Sorry, Lizzy boys. While he wants to live a quiet life as an NPC and live out his days in peace, fate has other plans for him. Namely, the return of a demon king. Now, I can't tell you how many plans I've had derailed by the return of a dang demon king. I've had to reschedule brunches, I've missed happy hours, I've seen the best men and women of my generation drown to their own blood. God, just some major inconveniences. Overlord 2, and if you're really desperate for an anime about an MMORPG gone awry that you know and love, Overlord is returning for a second season as Ein Gaon and the Floor Guardian gang encounter new faces, get in bloody battles, and deliver epic fantasy action. The original 2015 anime series followed the adventures of Momonga, a high-level player in a virtual reality MMO, who refused to log out of his favorite game when it was being shut down, only to find that he was still in the game and NPCs had begun developing minds of their own. So with a group of loyal servants, he set out to become the overlord of that game world and figure out exactly what went down. Now look, if the prospect of seeing the continuing adventures of a skeleton wizard doesn't get you going, then I guess I just don't know you anymore. Now do I, Samantha? Citrus. 
While it's gonna be hard to tell a better coming of age story than Lady Bird, Citrus looks like the perfect series for someone looking for a high school story full of drama, romance, and humor mined from deeply uncomfortable situations. When Yuzu Aihara's mom remarries, she has to transfer to an ultra-conservative all-girls school where she struggles to fit in. To make matters worse, she keeps fighting with the standoffer student council president, May, who just so happens to be her new stepsister. But attraction is a weird thing, and soon these two unlikely ladies find themselves falling in love with one another. So basically, if you wanted a queer version of Marmalade Boy, and admit it, you probably do, this sounds like it'll be right up your alley. Junji Ito Collection, Japan's greatest living writer of horror comics, is getting his own anime series with Junji Ito Collection. The man behind creeptacular stories like Uzumaki, Gyo, and the Enigma of Amigawa Fault will have stories from his fragments of horror book and his 11 volume horror collection adapted into what's looking like a seriously creepy anthology series. There's no word yet on what stories will make the cut, but considering that he's dreamt up everything from murderous land sharks to people burying themselves alive in a mountain, we're in for a series of horrifying treats no matter what like a candy corn sampler with spiders inside. I don't know, man. Just watch it. And those are the best new anime series you need to watch this winter. Which are you most excited for, though? Let me know in the comments below and give me a Yandere thumbs up while you're there. Now be sure to like and subscribe or else you might miss next week's episode about the story of a group of women during the Spanish Civil War who escaped the horrors of fascism by sharing a pair of super cool jeans that leads them into a deadly maze in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants Labyrinth. Until next time, keep on digging. Let's open up the old mailbag, shall we? At Lala's Music Stuff asks, what genre of music do you listen to a majority of the time? Well, that's a great question, Lala. Since I spend a horrifying amount of time at work, I need music that won't distract me while I'm trying to write. Now, lately, I've been digging the Mellow Beats and Jazz Vibes playlists on Spotify. They're this cool blend of lo-fi electronica and chill instrumental hip hop, and it really just helps me zone out and get my stuff done. Now, that being said, I get down with all types of music, but that's what's on heaviest rotation right now. But tell me, what genre of music do you listen to most? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.